much for me.
this, find out what you're going to do. Just take a look around. Just look around. Just look behind you. Look to your side. Look to your side. I said, we're not going to stop with. So we're going to rock our soul. We give you praise for what you have already done and what you're about to do. Heavenly Father, Prince of Peace, Great Emmanuel, God, Great Jehovah Jireh. Our provider, Great Jehovah Nisi, Great Jehovah Shalom, author and finisher of our faith. Lord, we give you thanks for life. If it wasn't for you, we would have been in the land of the dead. But because of your grace and mercy... You have kept us to see another morning like this, Lord, where we are happy in the Lord. Lord God, as I'm about to go through the prior line this morning, Father, I ask you to touch the prior line, oh God, touch the platform that I am on, oh God Almighty. 
Father, I'm asking you for full coverage this morning. Cover us from the crown of the head, O God Almighty, to the sole of the feet, O God. Make us an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, love, where there is sadness, joy, where there is despair, hope. Uh, Father, I'm asking thee, O God, at this time to ride in, cut and clear, deliver, Lord God Almighty, loose and set your people free. Father, I'm asking thee, O God, to touch your woman servant this morning. Father, I'm asking thee, O God, at this time to touch my tongue this morning. Lord, I'm asking thee, if I've sinned against thee, O God Almighty, through the past week, Days, months, years, oh God, I ask you right now for forgiveness. Father, you are a forgiving God. Lord God, cleanse this body of mine. Cleanse me from the crown of the head, O God Almighty, to the sole of the feet. Father, make me an instrument of thy peace where there is hatred, love, sadness, joy, despair, hope, O God Almighty. Help me to learn to forgive. Father God, as the people join the line this morning, O God Almighty, you see and know them by name and by nature. You see and know their hearts, O God Almighty. Father, I'm asking thee, O oh God, to grant them their heart's desire. I pray in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you so much for provision of jobs. We thank you so much for provision of food. We thank you so much, O oh God, to provide that we can pay our bills. Father, you are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you alone we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Father, there is none like you. There is none before you, and there will be none after you. Father God, we thank you so much. Father, even though we go through so many obstacles in life, we are still standing. Father, you are awesome. You are everlasting, Father. You are Prince of Peace. Lord, we just want to give you thanks. We just want to give you praise. We just want to glorify your name. You are worthy to be praised above all the gods of the nation. All the gods of the nations are idol. But Lord God Almighty, you have made the heaven and you have made the earth how oh, awesome you are mighty god of daniel when when the devil says no oh god you say yes when the devil say we should die you say we should live mighty god you're awesome in this place father i just want to tell you that i love you when the devil said we should be sick you said we must be healed father i just want to say that i love you when the devil said we should be beggars we are the head and we are not the tail father we are to give us. Father, we give you thanks. We give you glory. We give you honor. You are awesome. You are a God that fall rain on everyone's house top, Lord. We glorify you. We magnify your name because you are a just God. You are a just God, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you praise as I'm about to go through this live. I'm asking the O God at this time to Guide me, O oh God. Send the Holy Spirit, O oh God, this morning to guide me through. I pray, O oh God, strength and redeem. Lord, I am nothing without you. So I ask you for your presence. Father, I ask you for guidance. I ask you to be here with me while I go through the light. Send your battalion of angels for protection. Protect me, O oh God, and guide me, I pray, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, as it is written, O oh God Almighty, so shall it be. Lord, I ask you to gird my loins this morning. Keep me focused on your word this morning, O oh God. Let me not be distracted, but keep me focused on the word this morning, O oh God. Father, of thine own way, I pray, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, as it is written, O oh Oh, God Almighty, so shall it be. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. I must say good morning to every one of you that are on the line. If you are on the line for the very first time, I must say you are most welcome. All the people that follow my life on a daily basis, I must say thank you for being a part of um, history. Thank you for being a part of prophecy. Thank you so much for joining. Share the video to a friend or a family. Glory. Hallelujah. When you come across this live, you come across truth. Glory. Hallelujah. So if you come 
on this line and you are hearing truth, brace yourself to hear truth. Glory, hallelujah. We only speak truth here. We may not be the pastor or the bishop of your kind, but we come here with the truth. Glory, hallelujah. Declaration for women. If you're a woman, brace yourself. Declaration for women. I am divine. I am a woman of excellence. A virtuous woman. A God-fearing woman. A courageous woman. A blessed woman, a valuable woman. Divine was designed for a particular purpose. I am loved, protected, and empowered by God. Greatness exists in me. I am aware that there is life and death within the power of the tongue. Therefore, I declare that. I will endeavor to bless all those who I come in contact with. I will bless and not curse. I am mandated to effect change and make positive impact in this world. I denounce and reject every negative thing spoken over my life and in the life of my loved ones, they will have no effect. I have everything I need to accomplish my purpose. I am whole in my body, mind, soul, spirit. Divine is blessed in every area of my life. Physically, socially, mentally, financially, relationally, and interpersonally. I speak peace, wealth, prosperity, wisdom, courage, favor, and success into my life and in the life of our loved ones. I am special. I am valuable. I have a purpose in life. With the preservation of God, I will accomplish my purpose. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and never shall be, world without an end. Amen. As you know, we are on 21 day fasting. So today is our fifth day in fasting. So all the people who did not know about the fasting, I will give you an update. Our fasting starts from the third and it will finish on the 24th day of January 2024 here. So if you feel led, you can join our fasting. It starts 6.30 a.m. in the mornings. Glory. Hallelujah. You run your fasting right up until 6 in the afternoon. Those who are on medication, you're allowed to eat fruits in the morning to take your medication so buy all the fruits that you can afford melon cantaloupe apples oranges grapes buy all your fruits that you'll be able to have fruits and uh take your medication in the afternoon you have vegetables no red meat at all you must eat we are on fasting we don't want any meat in our fasting so if you are following the fasting, please remember you cannot eat meat for now. You can uh, you can do some fish on today, Sunday, but otherwise else, stay on the fast. Glory, hallelujah. Our word today is God is restoring what we have lost. So all the people who have lost a lot of things during the past years, months, days, God is about to restore you and restore all what you have lost over the years. 2024 will be a very great year for many of us. 2023 was a very good year for many of us. God is restoring all what we have lost. And all what some people have gained through cultism, they will lost what they have gained. So God is doing the reversal right now. God and Satan is at war. So this is the season and the time where God's people will be blessed. This is the season and the time when you will know the sheep from the goat. 
This is the season and the time when your eyes will be surprised to see who are goats. Glory, hallelujah. So this is the season that you will see the real godly people. Glory, hallelujah, because you have a lot of people who are preaching the word of God. Hallelujah, but they are literally goat. Glory, hallelujah. They come with one mouth saying, oh, give the Lord some praise. But behind closed door, they are serving Lucifer. Glory, hallelujah. I don't know if somebody's hearing me today. I says... In this 2024 season, God is about to expose all the goats. Glory, hallelujah. There is a lot of people who come and say, come on, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Come on, and I heard from God and been preaching. Glory, hallelujah. But into into their life they have very dark dark secret I have already told you about God is about to expose so I am here to tell somebody this morning who have an eye to see will see and who have an hair to hear will hear that is another prophecy that has come through I said I came and I warned you that God is about to get into the church and do clean up campaign I said who have an I to see will see, and who have an hear to hear will hear. I said, I want to tell you, don't cry when you see your favorite people. Glory, hallelujah, when you're hearing the disgrace of them, because I've already told you that God is doing a cleanup campaign in the church. Many of you didn't like when I do such message, but right now, 2024, the Antichrist is coming out. Glory, hallelujah. Many of you are going to wonder who is the Antichrist. You will soon see who is the Antichrist, and the Antichrist have his end. So all the antichrist, pastors, evangelists, prophets, you will see them because they are about to be exposed. Glory. Hallelujah. Are you a part of the antichrist worship? Are you a part of Baal worshiping? Glory. Hallelujah. A lot of us running up into churches. Praising God with some pastors you don't even know nothing about. You think you know them. Glory, hallelujah, but you don't know them. Glory, hallelujah. They're only taking your money for their wealth and their gain. To live their lavish lifestyle. Glory, hallelujah, but they are worshipping Baal. When they worship in Baal, they do all different kind of rituals. I came and I teach you about the blood sacrifice rituals. I came and I teach teach you about the sex rituals. Glory, hallelujah. So you will see all those who are into the Antichrist. You will see all those who are worshipping Baal because all the Baal worshippers, they are into the sex rituals. All the Baal worshippers are into the occult rituals. Glory, hallelujah, for their wealth, for their fame. Glory, hallelujah. Somebody lift up the name of Yahweh and says, Father, we thank you for what you've done and what you're about to do, Emily Father, Prince of Peace, Great Emmanuel God, Great Jehovah Jireh, my provider, Great Jehovah Nisa, Great Jehovah Shalom, Arthur, and finisher of my faith, glory, hallelujah, I have all authority to speak, because when I speak, I don't come over here and sell Jesus, when I speak, I don't beg you your offering, I am here dropping the fire hot like lava, let me see some fire upon the live, I said a lot of you your show off, show off pastors will be exposed. A lot of your show off evangelists will be exposed. A lot of your show off prophet will be exposed because this is the year of exposed glory. Hallelujah. Give the Lord God Almighty some praise. If you are not upset because I'm speaking the truth, give the Lord some praise. More fire. Glory. Hallelujah. Give me the fire. Give me the fire. Give me the fire, give me the fire now, thou set the Lord thy God. Give me the fire, give me the fire, give me the fire, mighty God of Daniel. Give me the fire. You see why a lot of your bishop and your pastors are powerless. They don't know how to speak with God and call down some rain. They don't know how to speak with God and call down some volcano. They don't know how to... 
to, to, to speak with their God and call them fire because they are living a life of lies. Glory, hallelujah. And when they see the real McCoy come, when they see God send out the real deal, La Braca Shata Rebecca Shata, you are fighting against God, real deal. But I am here to tell somebody this morning, mighty God is about to whip you, God is about to expose you, God is about to beat you. Let Go and let God arise and all the enemies be scattered. Shut up at a burn them in a flames and fire. Oh God, my strength and my redeemer. Drop your earthquake, my Father, my strength and my Redeemer. Drop your lava fire, my God, my strength and my Redeemer. Drop your hurricane, mighty God of Daniel. Drop your snow, God Almighty, because I can see in the world you came already, mighty God, and they crucify you. And now they are sitting down selling Jesus and collecting money, mighty God of Daniel, worshiping Baal. Glory, hallelujah, deceiving the man. But I am here to tell somebody this morning, I will continually to serve my God. I will continually to give praises to my Father who art in Zion. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, Lord. But deliver us from all evil. Thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Glory, hallelujah, amen. I said I may not be the pastor that you want to hear from. I said I may not be the evangelist that you want to hear from. I may not be the prophetess that you want to hear from. But I am here to let you know I know I am surely hearing from my Father. I know I am surely hearing from my God. I know I am surely hearing from my daddy and I am here to tell all of you who worshiping Baal the almighty God is about to expose you I came and I told you that God is about to clean up the church you did not understand the mystery of God now it's 2024 the exposing begin glory hallelujah somebody give the Lord a praise Glory, God is restoring all what you have lost during the years, during the years of famine, during the year coming up in famine, during the years of hard time, God will bless you during the hard time. When they are finding it difficult to, to live, God is about to bless his people in the days of hard time. So make sure you are not worshipping Baal. Because if you are worshipping Baal, there will be trouble at your feet. Glory. Hallelujah. So when you see some pastors with their aeroplane, when you see some pastors honing the whole world with luxury, don't let that phase you because they are Baal worshipping. They are doing the rituals. They are doing their sex rituals. They are doing their fornication. And the Bible told you about fornication. But they bypass the Bible's word. They only come out on Sunday morning and tell you and dress very nicely I says clothes is not easy. Come out and dress nicely and pretend and pose as if they're hearing from God. But mighty God of Daniel, they are hearing from something else. Glory, hallelujah. They are hearing from their occult altar. They are worshiping Baal. But I am here to tell God's people, God Almighty is restoring all what you have lost. I am coming with the word. I am here. I am letting the Holy Spirit lead this morning. Glory, hallelujah. And we are going to be still on Job. Job chapter 5. Glory, hallelujah. We are not coming off of Job until God say get off of Job. We will stick on Job. So we're going to take it from Job 5, 1 to verse 3. Glory, hallelujah. So I want the body of Christ to know. Be careful. Be on the alert. Put on the breastplate of righteousness because the church will be tested. The churches will be tried. Make sure you don't fall when the temptation come. Make sure your name don't call up into Casa Casa. Make sure your name don't call into 
fornication. Make sure your name don't call into occult rituals. As people of God, as body of God, as pastors of God, as evangelists of God, as prophets of God, make sure you keep your slate clean before mankind and before God. Because if you don't, Hallelujah! Give the Lord God Almighty some praise up in here. Glory, hallelujah. I know a lot of you don't want to hear this kind of a word because you're feeling embarrassed. You're feeling away. But this word has to drop. Glory, hallelujah. That is one prophecy that is going through. God is exposing the church. Every time the church is exposing, it's all about sex. It's all about sex. And the people running up and down and crying and say, Oh, mighty God, it is a lie. It is a lie, it is a lie. My God, videos cannot tell lie. Photographs cannot tell lie. La braca shata rebeke sataya. Videos can't tell lie. Photographs cannot tell lie. Church on Sunday morning. Ritual parties on the weekend. Playing booty. Booty with God. God give us all timing. So time has come to expose. Let's get right into the word. God is restoring what you have lost. In the presence of your enemies. So all of you who have enemies. God Almighty is restoring all what you have lost. In the presence of your enemies. Your destiny have been restored. So a lot of us who have, who they have, they, they have sacrificed your destinies. The almighty God is restoring your destiny now. God has fight for your destiny to be returned to you. So all of you who have failed... 20 years ago, 10 years ago, God is restoring your destiny. Your future has been restored. It don't matter how old you are right now. They have sacrificed your destiny from you were young. It don't matter how old you are now, says God. I, God, restoring your future. God has placed his hands on you. And restoring your future. All of you who have lost wealth. Houses, cars. God is restoring it. For 2024. He start restoring it from 2023. A lot of you never recognized it. The almighty God is restoring your wealth. The almighty God is restoring your wealth. The Almighty God is restoring your health. Your wealth has been restored. God has placed his hands on your wealth and restoring it. God is placing the wealth blessing upon you. And say that you are blessed my child. Go forth and achieve your wealth. God, Yahweh is restoring your joy. So all of the people who were sad over the years, over the months, over the days, over the many years you have been sad because your life was in a shamble. Fret not. Your joy has been restored, says God. The Almighty God is restoring your peace. So the Almighty God is restoring your joy. He is restoring your peace. He has restoring your prosperity. He is doing restoration. So if you were sad, he is restoring you. You must have joy. He is restoring your peace. 
He is restoring your prosperity. If you have lost properties over the many years, your houses, your cars, God is restoring it to you. So all of the people who have lost their houses, God is about to restore a home for you. Get yourself prepared. Get yourself in line. God is doing restoration. For 2024, God is restoring you. He's restoring your car. So if you was walking, he's going to make you drive. He's restoring your house. He's going to give you a mansion. He's restoring all the blessing in front of your enemies. Your enemies that has worked all the black magic to make sure you go down. God is restoring it in front of your enemies. God Almighty is restoring your business. All the people that have businesses and your businesses mash up. You don't have any more businesses. God is restoring your businesses now. 2024 is the year of restoration for God's children. So it don't matter how many black magic they want to work. It don't matter how many witchcraft they want to work. Your blessing, the devil cannot stop it. Your blessing, black magic cannot stop it because God Almighty is restoring your blessing. So all the business people, go and wash out your store, paint up your business place. Get it ready because God is restoring your businesses. All the people, your finances mash up. God is restoring your finances. So try to open an account at your bank. God is about to restore your finances. So if you find that your finances is going down, God is about to restore your finances. Your marriage. All the people who are having issues with marriages, relationship is not working out. God is restoring your relationship. He is restoring your marriage. I am here to tell you today on the seventh day of the first month, God is restoring your relationship. The Almighty Yahweh is restoring your marriage. God Almighty is restoring your mentally issue. If you're mentally ill, God is restoring you today. Mentally, socially, God is restoring you socially. The Almighty Yahweh is restoring you financially. God Almighty is restoring you interpersonally. So if you have mental issues, remember that the Almighty God will, will restore your mind, get you back in the right frame of mind. So you can tell negromancy and black witchcraft that all of what you have done, the Almighty God will restore and heal you and reverse such curse back to the sender. So all the people who are sending out witchcraft on people, it shall return to you a hundred times. Glory. Hallelujah. Because when God Almighty step in and start to restore and heal all the witchcraft is going back to them. All the black magic going back to them. God Almighty is restoring you. Every plot of evil. You're going to say this with me now. Right where you are, repeat this declaration with me this morning. God Almighty has restored everything for us. Our health has been restored our health mentally, socially, financially, and interpersonally. So you're going to say this with me now. Say it after me. My health has been restored. Mentally, socially, financially, and interpersonally. I speak love. Joy. Happiness, said the Lord, restore, 
Restore, restore divine now. Call your name where I call my name. You're going to say this with me. Every plot of the evil. Let divine go. Repeat this with me. Every plot of evil. Let divine go. Call your name where I call my name. In the name of Yahweh. From now and forever. Let me go. Let divine go. The spirit of grudge. Let me go. The spirit of hate. Let me go. The spirit of sabotage. Let me go. The spirit of cruelty. Let me go. The spirit of dishonesty. Let me go. The spirit of red eye. Let me go. Knowingly and unknowingly. Let me go. Let divine go. Time come. Go now, says God. So all the people who hate you, grudge you, sabotaging you, mistreating you, those are spirits that is in activation. We must denounce them to let us go. Follow me now. Restore our faith. Oh Yahweh, restore our faith. Repeat this with me now. Restore our faith, O oh Yahweh. Restore our faith in you. Restore our trust in you, Yahweh. Restore our trust in you. Restore our minds in you, Yahweh. Restore our minds in you. Restore our vocals, O oh Lord. Restore our vocals. Restore our children, O oh God. Yahweh, restore our children. Restore our grandchildren, O oh God. Yahweh, restore our grandchildren. Restore our great grandchildren, O oh Lord. Restore our great grandchildren. Restore our brothers and sisters, O oh God. Restore our brothers and sisters. Our brothers and sisters' bloodline, restore, I pray, O oh God. Restore our mothers, O oh God. Restore our mothers. Restore our fathers, O oh God. Restore our fathers. Restore our aunties, O oh God. Restore our aunties. Restore our uncles, O oh God. Restore our uncles. We shall live long. We shall not die, but we shall live long. Restoration from the Almighty Yahweh, it is a must. Continue, follow me, say when I say, Cleanse our mind, soul, and heart, O oh Lord, from sin. Repeat this. Cleanse our mind and soul, O oh Lord, from sin, and set divine free. Cleanse our mind and soul and heart, O oh God, from sin, and set divine free. Call your name where I call my name. To all enemies. With dust, you're going to say this with me as well. This one is to all our enemies now. We're going to deal with the area of our enemies. New Year Sunday declaration. All our enemies. Don't believe God will turn his back on divine. Call your name where I call my name. To all our enemies, don't believe that God will turn his back on us. When the spiritual warfare starts, God will show up and step in and show you dangerous signs. I'm going to repeat this again. I'm not sure if you are following what I am saying. 
declaration to the enemies now. We must warn them before God step in. The Almighty God like when we put the warning out first. Glory, hallelujah. God says I am more than conqueror to all our enemies young and old rich and poor don't believe that God will turn his back on divine call your name where I call my name when the spiritual warfare starts, God will show up and step in and show you dreadful signs. My God is a jealous God. God Almighty Yahweh will destroy you, our enemies. God will destroy you fully when you start. When you start messing around God's people, when you start messing around God's divine servants, God will destroy you permanently. Say this with me. Warn your enemies early out. God will put you in misery when you start such warfare. God will silence you permanently for bringing evil upon us. Be careful of your actions, O enemy, O Lucifer, O Satan followers. When God is restoring his possession to his people, God's blessing no man or woman cannot stop. Let me break this down for you. When God is blessing you, fret not thyself. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be thou envious of the workers of iniquity. Because they will be soon cut off. The Almighty God is a jealous God. And when he is doing res restoration and restoring you. When God is restoring your possessions. Just like how he restored Job. Ah. When the Almighty God is restoring you just as how he restored Job. Tell a demon. Tell a demon. Don't step into what God is doing. God Almighty will silence you permanently. Be careful. How you treat God's people. Be careful how you step in trying to destroy God's blessing. The Almighty God will finish you permanently. Be happy for others. Stop being jealous of others. God is restoring all that was taken away from us. And there is nothing, no devil... No demon, no voodoo, no black magic, no occult altar can do when God is restoring you and I. No thing, no one, no person can stop such blessings of God. I hope that this word has been a blessing to you. I hope that you understand the word. I hope that you comprehend the message. If you don't understand it, re-watch it and understand it. I will make this message very short that you can always go back and re-listen the message. 
When the Almighty God is restoring, He makes sure warning your enemies from early out. Because if God Almighty don't warn them before, God is about to permanently finish some people. They don't understand when God is ready to finish them. Glory, hallelujah. They don't understand when God is ready to finish them. Stop work, Obia and people. Stop bewitched people. I say you have some people that just love work, Obia. Glory, hallelujah. And when the man left you and gone, you still a work, Obia. Forget about the man and the man done gone about him business. Glory, hallelujah. Stop work, negromancy and black magic for other woman because you want the man because the man left you and gone. You know why you? Labraka, Shata, Rebeke, Sataya. Loose up. Lebroko Shatarabaka Sataya. Loose up God restoring relationship. God Almighty is restoring marriage. Glory, hallelujah. Obia can holy marriage. Obia can holy relationship. Glory, hallelujah. Stop work, black magic. On your relationship, we make it work because the black magic won't work. Glory, hallelujah. Let people be free. Just use prayer and win. Glory, hallelujah. A lot of people believe that black magic can win you. I said the only time you can win this kind of a game is prayer. Use your prayer and psalms and win them. Glory, hallelujah. So when them send out the black magic prayer, when them send out the voodoo prayer because of the man, glory, hallelujah. Use prayer and win. Glory, hallelujah. I don't know if somebody hearing me today. I say when them send the voodoo prayer, when them send the holy part, dopey them prayer because of one man. Glory, hallelujah. Use prayer and win. Glory, hallelujah. Let us get right up into Job chapter 1, verse 3, verse 1, verse Job chapter 5, I beg your pardon. Job chapter 5, 1 to 3. Call now, if there is any that will answer thee, and which of the saints wilt thou turn? For wrath killeth the foolish man, and envy slayeth the silly one. Wrath killeth the foolish man, and envy slayeth the silly one. I have been the foolish, taking root, but suddenly I cursed. Is habitation. I have I have seen the foolish taking root, but suddenly I cursed is in habitation. So be careful. Job one, Job chapter five. I uh, beg your pardon. It is Job chapter five. From 1 to verse 3. So Olivia delete that one. It is Job chapter 5. 1 to verse 3. Job 5. So spin that around Olivia. Job 5. 1 to verse 3. So if you are in your Job season. The almighty God will defend you. God is restoring all of the people that were in Job season for a very long time. And when my God is restoring you, he makes sure to take your enemies out permanently. He prepared a table before you in the presence of the enemy. Make sure them seat and after them seat, he take them out. Because he don't want them to repeat such nonsense again. Glory, hallelujah. So children of God, all of you who have lost, God is restoring. God is restoring. God is restoring. God is restoring. And if you know that God is restoring you this 
morning, give the Lord a Holy Ghost shout of praise. I say, God is restoring your prosperity. God is restoring your house. God is restoring your car. God is restoring your blessing. God is restoring your wealth. God is restoring your health. Glory, hallelujah. God is about to shame the devil by restoring you because a lot of people believe that your time done, your life finished. You're going to look at the enemy and says, but God. You have a lot of people don't understand the mystical power of God. Job was a very old man. He had lost all his possessions. He had lost all his possessions, but what God did? God restored Job. Give him all what he had and more. You just have to have faith. Lift your faith in the Almighty God and watch God restore you. And you will live to see your enemies who have done you wrong over the years. You will see them fall. You will see them die. You will see them go through misery. So you are going to look at them and say, Touch not the Lord God anointed, nor do his prophet no harm. Touch not the Lord anointed, nor do divine no harm. Touch not the Lord anointed, nor do felicial intent no harm. Touch not the Lord anointed, nor do Karen Bryan Sankey no harm. Touch not the Lord anointed, nor do Deborah Fennel no harm. Touch not the Lord's anointed. Glory, hallelujah. All what you have lost. The Almighty God will restore. Almighty God and Father, I come before you this morning. I thank you for the word, O oh God Almighty. I thank you so much. I thank you for the execution of the word. Father, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. Awesome in this place, Abba Father, worthy of our praise. To you alone we raise, God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. I just want to tell you thanks, O oh God, for the strength, the vigor, the power, the wisdom, the knowledge, the overstanding, O oh God, to bring forth your word. I give you thanks and praise, O oh God Almighty, now and forevermore, I humble pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Get your olive oil. Let me bless it up for you. Almighty God and Father, we present the olive oil. Oh God, I ask you to consecrate the olive oil. As they lead their faith right now with the olive oil, oh God Almighty, consecrate our pray. Amen. Coverage. Almighty God and Father, we ask you to cover us this morning. Cover your, us underneath your wings. Cover us, cover us, cover us. Going out, cover us coming in. Cover us where we live. Cover us at our address. Cover us from untimely death. Cover us from sickness, cover us from disputes, oh God Almighty, cover, cover, cover us, I pray, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, as it is written, so shall it be, hallelujah, amen. So I just wanted people to know what you're seeing on social media about others and pastors and bishops and evangelists, just listen, read and watch. Because it is the year of expose. As I told you, just watch as the months go down. You will see the individual come to let you know he is the Antichrist. This is biblical prophecy. Biblical prophecy. The famine will come, but not in 2024. The famine is coming, but not in 2024. But always make sure you're storing food. Make sure you're, when you peel your banana skin and your yam skin, put it back at the root of your vegetables. You don't really necessarily have to buy a, you don't necessarily have to buy manure. Use the cow dung and thing at your vegetable because certain things that you purchase it will damage your crops glory hallelujah but famine ain't gonna come this year but this year you will see the antichrist he will appear and all the false pastors and prophets and preachers will be exposed this year and beyond god is doing cleanup campaign in the church <laughs> How many of us are worthy to see the face of God? How many of us are worthy to 
Be with the Almighty God. I told you a lot of things, but you just never understand it. You just never comprehend it. Because you just believe because I am a new kid on the block spreading the word of the Almighty God. You think I don't know nothing. I am going to tell you today I know more than what you can imagine. No, because my teacher is Yahweh, the Almighty God himself. And when he reveals and when he tells me don't pray like that, don't say that, say this. Because they are all praying to Baal and you will see the play out right now. I am watching all the play out. Glory. Holly, just watch the play out. Don't have nothing to say. Don't put up your mouth and say it is a lie. Don't put up your mouth and say, I don't believe. Just sit and watch the play out. What was in the darkness? Coming out in the light. All the secrets coming out in the light. All the secrets coming out in the light. You see a lot of these pastors, they are secret society pastors. They are Illuminati pastors. They don't tell you that. One thing with the Illuminati, you know, when they're on their duty, they're on their duty. When they're on their duty, they're on their duty. A lot of these pastors and bishops and evangelists and, and prophets and prophetesses, a lot of them are Illuminati pastors. You didn't know, but you know now. They won't tell you, but I can tell you. So all what they're doing, they're, they, you call that the rituals. They have to do it. Many of them, it depends on what they sign for. Many of them don't want to kill their children or their spouses, so they sign for different rituals. So some of them go into the sex rituals. I sure I teach you everything about sex. Sex is sacred. Having sex is sacred. You're supposed to be married and have sex with your wife or your husband. Sex is very sacred. And then people just get up every day, walking up and down, changing spouses every day, having sex. It is a sacred thing. Very sacred. A lot of you don't know the power of the womb. The woman carries the womb. You don't know the power of it. Sex is sacred. That is why a lot of these millionaires, they are doing a lot of sex rituals. So a lot of young ladies, when they meet a man, they say, oh, I find a rich man. You don't find a rich man. The rich man doing his rituals with you. A lot of these young men telling you, oh, I found a rich man. The rich man <laughs> don't love you. The rich man is doing his rich man rituals to keep his wealth coming in. So some of the time you have to wonder what these people think. So when you believe you find a money man to help you, that money man is doing his ritual. It is called sex rituals. My people have a blessed and productive day today. I love you with the love of God. Let us close out. Glory, hallelujah.
Shalom.